Now, while Zipan right away, he's going to be taking some space, but no fight for him on the other side. A paranoia was used to get him up into heaven, a smoke to get him down towards vents. They're splitting mid in the early round, but maybe, maybe not. Where's this guy going? A very strange pistol, but he has found a wide um. open gap in this defense. This could be a big problem for them. Oh, well, if it's not a big problem for them, they have eyes in the back of their heads. Oh, they actually might push through, though. Does it matter? The aggressive spot. And I think they may have even seen Zipan coming behind. I think they've just turned back around waiting for him. Just a split second as Wolfen just spotted him in towards that spawn. And there was a moment where it looked like it was all over in this pistol round for Koi. Why is it? I think it's all over for Na'Vi. His jet's pretty good, though. Oh, it can be. five kick things off. With 70 HP left. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit easier to take down tracks, maybe shade us as well, but well, they've got a solution to that. Look at the firing squad we're seeing lined up in heaven. Uh, deviating from the plan slightly, Starzo knows it's seen Ed on the other side. That's a battle he wants to claim. And they've got the info. Flash left. soon to follow. There it is, and the battle ensues in Vent. Starzo. Look, there's so many close angles, you kind of get away with it a little bit more. Well, there's a long range angle for Trax. He's got the right rifle to do the job, but the players have forced him back with utility. Koi are content to play a retake. Retake up against all these weapons, but they've got so much utility to fight their way back through. Keep point being the flash to start it out, but nothing has gone according to plan on this one. The downside of having those weaker weapons, Starzo now has to do it all. Fight. Players around Vent to help out. Flash already used. CP across. It's, it's, it's an angel it move with the spike as well. He's dropped it eventually as he goes walkabouts Picks into the spawn. <laughs> Someone else is going to have to take that and lead it back around. A big fight for Angel now with two players peeking him, and he will not win that. They were aware of the control that was given up. But now for Navi, they are lost. They've got no smokes really to play with on their way that, back through. Cages are used in everything. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like now trying to sort of segment this is going to be very difficult indeed. They have control that maybe they shouldn't have, but it seemed like they were boxed in. Instead, well, the trade's going effectively, and that spike has dropped the deck again. Wolfen's on the way as well with the operator. It's going to be very hard to pick this, uh, this spike back up and make your way back to the site. Did Wolfen just dash down below? He swapped it out using the rifle now instead. He really wants a fight. Being so close to the blade storm maybe plays a role, but he's ended up going down. And Shados up against Xiao. Still spiked to be retrieved. Time could be a factor. And Shados, he's rotating. They'd spotted him in spawn not that long ago. This angle, already you can see on the mini-map, it's not expected. Xiao might be caught completely unaware, but the timing is good. He's just about crossed left. towards the site. Shados has to sneak up on him, but he's going to get there just in time. I think those smokes completely missing, and him being the one cutting off rotations, it just doesn't seem worth it. Showstopper this round to entry, and they're wise to it on the side of Koi, oh. but still Drex goes down. They left the site wide open to give them the space. And the punishment comes through. That's a big kill. Bladestorm pop for CNET. Now they've got some info on the players up top. Do they pursue it with a player caught in the corner? No way. They're going to let him slip away. Even a fight off to Starzo that's won. Zipan's round right here. He's gone and he's killed. Because I definitely this man think so. just teleport in towards the vents. It's crazy to keep an eye on this guy's opening duels. And oh. well, that one's not gone according to plan. Immediately shut down by the Bladestorm. Earned up at the start of this. Navi down to a three versus five. And Koi, well, they can sit pretty, sit tight, and let Navi make the next move. Yeah, that's so rough. This is a round as well where just the two rifles saved. Everything else for Koi was looking weak. That blade storm collected at the beginning of the round, and now you've already seen the difference. It's just can they take this over the line? One of those guns set up and ready. Cold Amenta patiently waiting. Maybe not so patiently. But he has support from those blades, seen it though. He's managed to just do the same the other way around. The jet popping off alongside Saigetsu. And somehow they have an advantage. That one was a blink and you miss it. Even the blade storm to initiate Wolfen had been hitting every shot so far. Not up against this man. Now, Starzo and Shados left to clutch it, one away from a Viper's Pit. A kill for Shados could be everything. Could be a way back through. Flash hasn't even caught CNED. He's good for another fight. And three kills on the board. Shadoff just spotted him, trying to find his... Calling back to this for quite a while to come. <laughs> I told everyone. Go, 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 I yeah, wait until he plays Rain the next map and gets <laughs> 40 kills. They're lined up, but it doesn't seem to matter. The one-to-one -one trade for the B site Damage starts out though. well. Yeah, 30 HP on CNET. It's not ideal. Angel getting aggressive up top. 
Is he going to continue Spike it planted. or just occupy the rafters? Now he's dropping all the way down. It does make you nervous, doesn't it? You kind of just look at Cena and go, what's, what's, what's the plan? What's he going to do next? They're still within this Viper's pit, though. They're waiting for a Lurk to come back through, and Saigetsu is waiting for the pit to go down. Faith in his teammates to hold the line, and for now, that's exactly what they're doing. They're still staying in the pit, even as the side push oh. begins. The Showstopper certainly helps with Trex doubling up, looking for the triple on backside. The trade should be easy now, though, down to 14 HP, and Saigetsu's Lurk, the last remaining hope for this squad, smoked off the spray. Decent damage done. Actually, stop the defuse. He might even be good for oh, almost single handedly wins Ooh. them the rap. Expecting to get behind the box and just sit Sneak there in, yeah. and just gets owned. <laughs> and another victim of the attack side operator coming through, CNED. Making a case for it here on the jet. We often talk about how your jet's going to struggle on the attack. You're, you're open in space. I guess that's what you got Angel for. And CNED can focus a little more on just hitting those I'm shots. Wondering. It's a great push by Trex. A great position, and he's got the spike for his trouble. Spike Avoided down. the shot of CNED, too. But he won't be able to hold on to that control for too much longer. He's got to let it slip. Surely. He's waiting for his teammate, who's slowly running around. Can he get anything more? He can. Trex, so confident in these fights, but eventually will go down. And now they know where these remaining players are going to be. Information had, but both on that rotation back. Starzo's going to get pinged up left into the 1v3. First goes his way, but can't get it. We don't know what we're going to see no, when we swap over. He didn't over. even oh. go out. He just jump peeked it. I thought he was trying to get behind the box, but it was more so just seeing that is so fast. That's who chose them, but Navi thus far have kept this close. Even with a blast pack, he barely makes it out. And a push up by Angel again, going to be caught. On one hand, applauding Koi for catching those again and again, but look at the difficulty it's going to create for this Navi squad. They have taken heaven and look to fight from here. No smoke for screens as they make their way through. Maybe a cloud burst at best as the showstopper tries to section these players out. And in fact, it has just pushed them entirely off the site. A Seas, too late landing in screens. It's going to have to be a full retake. Ah, and they don't have much to play with. I'm looking at Trex, though. A single kill for him. We saw what that could do with the showstopper last time out. Xiao has taken so much damage. An extra bullet spammed into that wood could kill him off, but instead, he might just be sneaky. He's helped out Saigetsu to at least manage one, but even still, this advantage sticks with Koi that little bit longer. He's still going strong, though, and has Zipan alongside him. Neither particularly close to that spike, but Saigetsu trying to take the elevated angle. Sight. Might be here a little too late. Comes off the cage's landing initially, but never mind being too late. He is perfectly in time, and the rocket fired through. Catches Xiao, thinning out the herd of Navi with CNET falling this round. Seems to be all but over. The nade, well, it's too shallow. Nothing to do with the fight outside of A. Moving in towards heaven. Goldamenta, he hasn't really fought from this angle typically. Just been shoulder peeking and grabbing the info. This time, though, with players on the site, he had to hold oh. it a little wider. They're not ready for Trex to be here, too. But Zipan's also caught them off guard. Big round for the Rays players. As they look for more impact on the B side, Trex will fall. They know that there's an op stuck in the back, and it's all too easy for CNED with him updrafting away from the nade. A clutch attempt by Shados and a firing oh, I mean, That's going to catch him on the way through. They've heard it. Oh, and they've... Risky, to say the least, but they have to take a risk of man down. Oh, it's Angel catching them crossing, but he's not able to deliver on it on the site. A lone man of Xiao stands, trying to get some support with Zipan from above. Now smoked out. Angel's able to creep up behind, grab one. Zipan more than good. And Xiao certainly had more support than it seemed when this take began. Goldamenta, the last man to the party. And the spike is down in the open next to Irretrievable. 20 seconds on the clock and four very healthy opponents to take down if he wants the win for his squad. See how much he can do, and oh, player with his back turned almost. I don't know if Koi will be ready for quite this. Oh, no, look at the corner from Angel. The fact that he's tucked Again. in, baiting them for the dash through. Second time he's caught him right after the dash, and Wolfen's got to be feeling that now, given next to no space. What a turnaround half to half for this man as well. 2v4. Good luck to Koi. They've done it from similar positions, but they're hey, completely surrounded now, boxed in. It's Starzo and Shados. That's that's the only thing I'm going to say. Like We have seen them throughout the matches they've won pull off some of the most ridiculous rounds you'll ever see. And a 2v4, I don't even know if it scratches the surface. So Na'Vi definitely have to be careful. They also have an awful lot of time. Still 50 seconds on the clock. 
chance to isolate jewels. Bear in mind the angel on the site is tagged low. Uh, they've got no reason to spam this. They don't want to give up where they are. But they might be able to find themselves a solo jewel. Now, peeking into Saigetsu. Oh, they are going to see him, but the information will be shared. Here's the flash back online. They're going to use it right into the spawn. Remaining. Not working out as well as they'd hoped. One to one trades, just much more legitimizing. He ain't going to come into this half ass and it running the same stuff. It's before the nade in the seas. It's gorgeous and it's enough. Oh. Not only getting the one. By a nasty Navi set piece. And they're not stopping. Zipan's got another nade. Already earning it. Using it just to bait for Shao. There's barely a lick of damage on the other side. Well, we're down to the Starzo flash to hope that gets One him through, but he's not aware that Angel's on the back of the site. This man has been catching them off guard. To lose just yet, and for CNET, it might even be the excuse to buy one in the next round. Hunting him down oh, there in tow as well. There is everything ready to be oh, thrown no. in, and he's caught again. Should be able to dodge it this time out, but even still, they went pushing. They went looking, and Trax has managed to find the kill. Defending his teammates, but his showstopper, it doesn't even buy them space. No chance to touch the trigger on that one. They're using everything. And look, a Cosmic Divide that still leaves three, Heaven three. wide open. I mean, that's a minute. spot being held by Xiao. You still need a smoke to cross. They put poison down the Poison Orb, and the Poison's just been pulled back. They've just spammed they out know. three oats, and it got them absolutely nothing. They're in mid. Yeah, they, they, they literally the they could have got this at the beginning of the round. They, they've used a, a Showstopper. They used their there Seekers, and, and it literally has bought them nothing. I think almost just panic using them at that point. It seems like it. Like I said, I, I didn't expect to see any ults, to be honest. Mm. And I, I agree with you. You know, Trex gets the kill. Yeah. You think, all right, blast into sight, get the kills with it. And if it fires into heaven, it might have gotten two. But no chance to fire at Navi, just a little too quick to the trigger. God, the only good thing that has come out of all of this is that Starzo did manage to retrieve a gun. It was hand-delivered by Zipan. He's been spotted, still in B main. Two players holding on to this spot. 25 seconds to make this work. Doing a good job at the start. They know that Xiao was around here earlier. He's the one that threw the C's out, but they won't find him in time, and he's close. 12 seconds left on the clock. They need to plant it in a spot they can be left. challenged from. Two players both coming from spawn, and the smoke fades at just the right moment. Koi set up for victory. Sagetsu has to battle back. A player up and a player down. The spam, it's close, but it's not close enough. The angle a little off, and they're going to double swing this. The second he steps out, never mind. Shadow's gone already, and it comes close. You can't even call a pause after a round like that. You can't tell them how much that's affecting you. The off is already out. Al the round. That one might just be the boost they need, though. That prior round, lighting the fire under Koi, winning that initial battle, and now Saigetsu under serious pressure. Caught in one of the trips, but he hasn't been able to get anything and just stuck at the back of the site, being surrounded. But Angel, Zipan looking to try and help him out. It was the start that looked wonderful. And now it's just cold Amenta. But Angel low. Spike on the site, so it almost becomes irrelevant at this point. He's going to have to take the fights, and the timing could be sublime. He isolates it into the 1v1. Him versus Zipan. 40 seconds left, so he doesn't need to rush. Can take his time and is just patiently waiting. But Zipan's not moving. Sitting back within the side. 30 seconds left. Watching onto that spike, knowing that his opponent could come from any position and starting to work out. The clock in his head ticking that there's only so many places that this man could be. He read it right just seconds ago, but now 15 left. Coldamenta needs to find that frag, and Zipan is watching in the right direction, but it won't. What he brings to this team Angel. outside of that, Angel, this is so risky, but he has teammates behind him just looking to get out of there as a fake, but this time they've been ready for Xiao. I'm not even sure he might have been paranoid going for that kill. It looked like the blind had caught Shados, yet still he's good for the frag. Angel on the side, dancing around. He's caught a player on the back with Cold Amenta. That's three kills already, and he's not finished just yet. Looking for Trex, and now the final man of Starzo, looking to snuff out the flame. And it's yet. And Wolfen's experiencing the other side of it, walking through into the, the man trade. himself, but the trade is there. It's Cold Amenta to find that one, and push to get to way back out of the site. Ooh. Cages mean nothing. The traps, finding information, but Here. for what? Can't follow up with the Cosmic Divide in the way, and the plant can be found safely. Trex onto Angel as well, doubling, tripling down on the advantages. Now a four versus two. 
as Navi desperately again. try to find any Let's duel. That walked up behind that boom bot. Angel, oh my god, he's about to meet the entirety of the squad. He gets two, and then Zipan's there. It was almost just the bait and switch again. Angel's risks have been rewarded quite often now in this defend. The result hasn't been great, and it won't be this time. That's the to take this over the line and head into Unhinged is a lot more direct. Seekers popped. So much utility being expended, and Trex again already dead. But luckily that blade storm in hand for Wolfen. Able to find one. A second in hand for him as well. Looking for a little bit more. He's done damage. Almost caught by Saigetsu, but not quite this time. And now he has to face off against CNED. A Viper's Pit, though. There's nothing worse for an operator to face into, especially with the HP he has. Oh, I mean, look, that's a... An ambitious shot to go for. Three of them already thrown out. 29 HP. And I hope nobody spams back in return. A shot in the dark, quite literally. Five of them, none of them landed. And it's time to get out of there. These ultimates, Tom, it oh, does that put was them all of this space. But no, he's falling back onto the site. Uh, he's got his dash online, his blade storm, but now he's stunned up, still good for Wolf. And up drafting around to try and dodge a potential showstopper. He does that, but he can't dodge Shados. The flank coming in. It might be a little late. The player's tucked into positions, and now it's given away, but at the cost of Shados' life. Trex on another. Falls back for a heal as well. The late flank from Cole Dementa could be everything in this round. Koi desperately looking to push up to an overtime as Navi want to steal away a map that was an embarrassment for them last time around in this very series. Cole Dementa's caught Zipan. His flank and Van's perfect, and now that, that's got to offset this retake completely. Do you deal with him from behind? Do you rush into the site? And even then, how's the defuse going to go down? It's looking like Koi have locked themselves into an OT just a few kills away. No mistakes to be made on this side, and with Xiao falling! That map, and, well, they are all very much hunkered down, ready for this fight to come through. No one, mainly no Angel, to follow through on those initial fights. It's Wolf, and up close, only one for him as Navi steamroll into B. Ah, there's only two remaining. Trex has been good. Starzo alongside him. Wary of that flank coming through, almost trying to fake things out a little bit. Seen Ed low, but it's only Starzo. Free fire, the drop down on the rope. Just because they might be disrespected by the likes of Angel. They're starting to double back again. I, I guess just end. checking whether or not they're pushing in this direction. Saigetsu yet to have moved. 50 seconds left on the clock. If they are going to make their run back, it would have to be soon, but I think this is That's all just hearing. part of a ruse. Oh, <gasps> they've realized. They've actually, I don't know what the read was there, but Zipan's staying around. They think it's still going to be B, and they couldn't be any more right. Angel standing in just the right spot. Again, catching them off, and look how quickly Zipan's going to rotate through. He's already emerging from the catwalk, and there's barely anyone left to take down. Just Trex now standing in their way of taking this map, and it's Agetsu's triple to seal the map.